last but least, um, my dad and Edwin and Jason, they have this game for the PlayStation 2. But this is the limited edition, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, the last SmackDown vs. Raw, because after 2011, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 was um, WWE 12, WWE 13, and WWE 2K14, which I have 13 and 14, now I got 2011. It's an older game, but it was 5 bucks, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to jump on that, you know what I mean? Um, wow, but if you go, yeah, if you go like Chumley's, it's 12.99. So it's like you're paying like almost 15, 16 bucks where you get it five bucks at Hawk Shop. So yeah, because I think Jody and Carrie have two SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, right? It's 2010, that's, that's the one that they have. And 2009, I think, for the PS3. I think Cassandra has 2010 for the Wii. So they don't have 2011. And this one is good because, uh, yeah, it's like has Bret Hart on the cover, right? And it, there's Edge. You know what I mean? So, you don't have Bret Hart unlocked in WWE 13, WWE 2K15, or 2K14 and WWE 13 because they're locked. But in this one, he's probably unlocked. I don't know, maybe. And to tell you the truth, I only played 2011 a few times. I never played it as much. I never really got into it as much. I played the older ones, like 2009, 2010... You know what I mean? Those ones I really got into, but 2011, I never really got into it as much. Like on PS2 to PS3, PS3 is more upgraded, right? So it is better on PS3, right? It's not the PS2 graphics, it's the PS3 graphics. So here it is anyway. SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. Because that's the reason why I got this one also, because it's the last SmackDown vs. Raw before they did just WWE. 13 WWE 2K 14 and WWE 2K 15 right so that's the reason that's another reason why I got it too and Bret Hart's on it Undertaker you see Edge you know what I mean so this is the final video game of Smackdown vs Raw